What's going on, buddy? My name is Welcome back to another video. And today, guys, today we're gonna be getting into that second agricultural revolution. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, second agricultural revolution. There was the first one. Now it's the second, and there's a third one, which is the most contemporary one. And we'll get into that in a later video. Now we're just gonna focus on the second one and its effects, when it happened, all of that fun stuff. So let's get into this. And this is going to be a kind of a little bit different video than all my other AP Human Geography ones. So let's talk about the British Agricultural Revolution. Hang on, I thought we were talking about the Second Agricultural Revolution. Well, technically, British Agricultural Revolution is the Second Agricultural Revolution because it originated in Britain and coincided in the Industrial Revolution, which happened in primarily Britain, different parts of Europe, and of course the United States. You've have to have learned about the Industrial Revolution if you live in the United States. I don't know how you have, haven't yet. So yeah, got the train on the right, and then Britain on the left. Pretty, pretty cool. Now look at this British soldier on the right. Now, what time period is this soldier from? Now, I just said that it coincided with the Industrial Revolution. Uh, so if you don't know what the Industrial Revolution is, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, we'll get into that in a later topic when we get into development, uh, less developed countries, more developed countries, urbanization, uh, types of jobs, you know, all that cool stuff in the future. But for now, what time period is the soldier from? Well, it's from the 1800s, of course. That's when the National ha Revolution happened, silly. So that's when the second agricultural revolution happened. Now let's get into the effects of this agricultural revolution revolution i know we're not gonna really get into much debt about it uh if you want a definition of it though it's um where agriculture became easier better and yeah there you go let's get into some effects now so effects of the world and the first one is mechanization in farming we'll get into a little bit in just a second as well but farming involved a lot more mechanization there's also large-scale irrigation with uh Effects, oh, not effects, with well, the effects of this uh, agricultural revolution. They need more irrigation, need more water to the people and the crops. Transportation advancements. Uh, now, we'll get into an effect of farming, which led to a more food, and which led to more stuff in just a second. But this agricultural revolution led to more food, more crops being grown. Uh, so they had to transport that crops, uh, maybe through more break and bulk points, uh, but they needed more transportation to transfer these parts, to make imports and exports. And then we have fewer but more productive farms. Uh, so we're going to be seeing less farms, however, the farms that are still there are going to be more productive, producing more crops, sometimes double or triple than it would have 20 years ago. And this resulted in misplaced farmers moving to urban areas for jobs. We saw a lot more urbanization. We know what happens with urbanization. Uh, and with this agricultural revolution and the industrial revolution, uh, we saw countries getting up that demographic transition model. So we would see America and Britain especially going up to stage three in that transition model. So stage late stage two, early stage three. Now I'll get into some effects on farming. So we just learned a little bit about those effects on farming because they had an effect on the world. But let's get into a little bit more on just farming itself. So we saw the steel plow. So we see different innovations that make farming, farming, farming a little bit easier. And one of those is the steel plow, which kind of allows uh, animals to basically go through soil and this can cut through and break up tough soil uh that required tons of labor but now animals can do it they can just get some cattle not livestock cattle uh attach it to this you know part of the plow on the right uh and yeah let it dig up some of that no not the right the left <laughs> i'm not a farmer i uh, would allow it to dig up some soil that could be tough and we got mechanization which we just basically talk about so we got more you know I don't know how to say it any simpler than that. <laughs> Sorry. Then we got the wheelless plow. Now, yes, it does have wheels on it. I know. I know. Uh, it's also sometimes called the breaking plow, like this caption of the image. Actually, it's probably a title. Uh, but this allowed animals to just plow through um, land. And sometimes the steel plow is a little bit like this as well. It's not the same thing, though. And we saw a decrease in need for labor. With this mechanization and innovations like the steel plow and wheelless plow, 
uh, yeah, we saw a decrease in need for labor. So we didn't need as many people on the farms, which made the cost of production cheaper so they could spend that money on buying more land, seeds, soil, innovations like the steel plow, wheelless plow, and then it kind of goes back into a cycle. And we got selective breeding, which is basically breeding organisms with selective characteristics with an expected outcome. So these characteristics could be okay. So these two cows. Uh, so this mother cow uh, has lived a long life and gave me a bunch of milk or something. And this male cow, uh, it lived a long life and gave me a bunch of beef. So let's breed them together for great beef or milk if it's a guy or a girl. So selective breeding. That's an example of it. And yeah, those are the effects on farming. Now let's get into those effects on people. So the first one is more people available to work in factories. You saw those misplaced farmers who just didn't have a farm anymore and go to urban areas. So they'd be working in factories because those are located in the urban areas. And this resulted in more food production and processing, of course, from those people in factories and the farmers who have larger scale farms. Then we saw a lead in better diets. We see more people eating healthier. They get access to more fresh crops. So they're going to be eating healthier than they were before. Now we do see sugar consumption do uh, increase and obesity increase because of a higher diversity in food because there's more food production. So there are a lot, they're getting access to a diversity of food, especially as the country develops. And that ties in with the demographic transition model. Then we see a longer life expectancy. We can see right here as uh, times go on, of course, around the world and more imports and exports from those farms. Remember, farming isn't just, you know, available in one part of the world. If you saw my intro to agricultural video, uh, you know what crops are growing around the world. I'll have a card above the video if you want to go see it. But as we can see here around the world, we see... Uh, Increase in life expectancy, uh, especially from that mid uh, 18, late 18th century, no, 19th century uh, into that early 20th century. And still going now, we see a huge increase in life expectancy. And that's an effect of the second agricultural revolution and, of course, that third agricultural revolution, which we'll get into later. And then, of course, from this li higher life expectancy, we're going to be seeing a higher population. More people are going to be born, of course, from better diets as well. Uh, people can have children, and they can live longer to raise those children. And those children can have children from living longer. Makes sense, right? Obviously. And then from this more population and better diets, blah, 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 we see urbanization, which ties into more people available to work in factories, which leads to more food production, which leads to better diets. I don't want to see this anymore. It's a circle. Awesome sauce. And that's the end of the video. It's pretty, pretty simple. Oh, there's the stimuli. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you do want to subscribe, I hope you do. It's free. You can change your mind later. Join my Discord server to teach other people new things or to learn something new yourself. Like the video. It helps me out. Leave a comment with your criticism. I love criticism. If you guys want to see more AP Human Geography videos, send me a card above the video to check them all out for this unit. Uh, other than that, I got nothing else for y'all, so adios.